everyone. I'm Jess with Life Force Energy. I'm so excited to have one of my awesome girls from California. Casey, how are you doing today? It's beautiful where you're at. Look at us. It's beautiful and sunny. <laughs> I love it. So good to see you. Thank you so much, Casey, for joining me. I had requested if she would be so kind to share her experience with our spiritual rebirth ceremony coming up in August 27th through 29th in 2022. This is huge because we have not been able to offer the spiritual rebirth because the way things have been shifting as of 2019, 2020, you get the picture. Things have just been not in the best frequency for us to tap in. However, not so long ago, while I was in meditation, I was being informed that it was necessary to bring it out this year because in 23, there will be other life events that will be happening planetary wise that would not be the best time for me to open a certain portal to allow certain energies to come forward to assist everyone. So we're gonna take advantage when we're given the opportunity. I'm so excited. Casey, could you share with everyone how long ago it's been since you had your spiritual rebirth? I was doing the math actually a little bit ago. It was in October of 17. Oh my gosh, that is so crazy. Okay, now would you say that the five years since the, that you did the spiritual rebirth, would you say that life really did change for you? Oh, completely. Did a whole 360, like everything changed. 180, whatever it is. Like I went from one universe to a whole another one. It is amazing. You don't even look the same from five years ago. You you know oh, that? <laughs> You're the girl that I met the first major, time. <laughs> major changes happened within a year. It's amazing. And would you say that with the spiritual rebirth that you could still see that its effects have been unfolding in your life with the things that you requested oh, yeah. in, your, in your rituals? It's still coming to fruition, yes. I know, I know. Would you be able to share maybe just a few, maybe key highlights that stand out to you? You don't have to go into too much personal information, but maybe some ideas because we got a lot of people that don't really understand to expect. Maybe you can kind of give an idea of what, what it was like for you and, and what you recognize that in that time, what changed for you? Well, before I had my rebirth, I was stuck. I was in my daily routine of being a wife, being a parent, being a mother, going to work, doing my day to day job and just doing what I had to do and didn't even realize what I was in was in survival mode. I was literally just surviving the day, just doing what I had to do. Wasn't putting myself first ever. Always the kids, always the kids, always my job, always my job, always the being the wife, being the duty that I had to do until I realized I needed to do something for myself. And then I did the rebirth not really knowing what the rebirth was going to give me i didn't need a whole bunch of changes at least i didn't think i did i just wanted peace in my life i wanted to feel comfort and i wanted to love myself more i wanted to know who i was i wanted to grow into who i was meant to be and i knew i was meant to be a mom and mom's always what i'm supposed to be but i wasn't the mom i wanted to be i was so busy and i was like i'm just i'm just living my day i was literally day to day and just living the day going and with the motion the rebirth, since the rebirth, I was able to realize I can't be the mom I want to be unless I'm happy with who I am, unless I know who I am and love myself. You really can't fully love someone else, even your own kids, unless you're loving yourself as well. And I wasn't putting the time into myself. My time was all kids. It was all my students because I'm a teacher. So I put myself into everyone but myself. That's and right. I, the time I had for me was so minimal and so mm -hmm. it's still minimal. Like the time we have for ourselves is always minimal, but I <laughs> yeah. make time so much more and I make time for myself and I do things more for myself now than I ever did before. It woke me up. It really did. My rebirth let me know, honestly, I had already been told earlier because I saw Dr. Roberts, but I had choices to make in my life and the rebirth literally made those choices stand out mm -hmm. to where it was like, it's not really a choice. Like it's already been made for me. I just have to right. jump and Move go. Forward. I decided to put my family first and putting my family first meant a lot of changes in what my family looked like. Family being my kids had to come first. Me and my kids had to be first. So okay. my life is totally changed, but I'm proud I'm, of myself. Yeah. I'm happy. I am a totally different person. I'm living, I thought my life was gonna end, my life was gonna end a lot sooner if I hadn't have done it. I was having heart palpitations, I thought I was gonna have a heart attack, like literally my life was in such a bad state. Since my rebirth, I think I've lost about 70 pounds. Yes, you have. Just, my look completely, my health is bad. <laughs> look so young. <laughs> my whole life has changed. Just to put it short and sweet, my entire life has changed. 
I absolutely love it. I am so excited. I remember the very first session that we had when I first opened up Alifi to the public. And I remember seeing you and I was like, oh, you have no clue what you look like and who you are yet. I was like, you are amazing. And not that you weren't amazing then, is that you weren't aware how amazing you could be. And so it was so exciting to witness that. Now, for a lot of people, they, they're wondering, what is a rebirth exactly? Do you remember what I had to buy for you? I had to get you your roses and I had oh, to make I a had big to old batch of water. White roses. I had to find my own white roses and then you had to boil my tea. You made the special water, of course, like the, yes. like you, which the by energy the way, waters. always yeah. stocks of my waters. But this was like that special, it, there's, it's made specifically for the you. It's not a water that is out for you everybody, it. it's literally mm -hmm. for me. I had to go and get my own roses. Yes, take my and deliver it to you for you to brew. I had to go shopping. I had to wear all white. Exactly. Literally like refresh. Like you had to change everything. Everything. Shed the past to open and allow the new to come in. And I went in skeptical skeptical because I know a lot of you do. I've been with Jess for over five years now as far as working with you since you started. I've been one of the first. My life has totally changed. and. I still have moments where I'm like, I don't know, but I trust so much more now than I ever did. And I tell you, put your trust in Jess. If you're gonna do anything where you're skeptical, trust in Jess because she will never steer you wrong. That is my- Exactly. That I have learned. I will always trust what Jess says because I know one, it's always coming from the heart and she only wants the best for you. And she totally got me where I needed to go. I, yeah, I look amazing. It was a whole new, literally, rebirth is the way I would state what happened. Like, I woke up, I became who I was meant to be, or I'm still coming. I think we all yeah, are you're still evolving beautifully. We're all still becoming who we're supposed to be. That's You've right. changed. Like, all of us have changed. It's just accepting those changes and being able to trust in the universe and that you're making the right choices. Absolutely. And thank you so much for sharing that because I wanted people to know they're like, what am I doing exactly? And I was explaining to them that this is an ancestral healing that we've been doing in our family lineage for generations. Now there's a, there's a healer that comes out every so often within the bloodline. And then I was called into doing this work. And I remember just being like, I, okay, I can do this. Or like, you were born to do this. And then at that point I started to accept that, own it. And then you've been with me, Casey, you've watched me evolve and how I've helped people or even my own life, how I've used my intuition oh, yeah. to get me to where I'm at. And the only thing that I guess the biggest part of what I do and why I do it is because I want everyone to be given an opportunity as a, a, as a restart or a second chance to life because you of all people, you, you know my story, but you also went through it. We were both given a second chance to life. And yeah, we are yeah. living our best versions right now that we didn't even know we could. I mean, we had an idea, but we didn't really exactly understand like every detail. Nope. And yet here we are and it just keeps getting better. <laughs> exactly. Every day. I appreciate you so much for sharing. I just wanted to give everyone an opportunity to see that when people feel stuck, when people are, are uncertain or they just think that everything is the way it's supposed to be and that's all there is ever going to be, you'd be surprised what the universe may show you and sort of support or signs that there is something even more. I Better. think of the story. I don't have to feel stuck. If you're feeling stuck, there's something wrong. Exactly. That's if you feel like I, you can't move. I feel stuck. There's something wrong. Like you shouldn't feel stuck in a situation. You should be That's able right. to breathe. You should be able to be happy and to live and be fully you. And I don't think I ever was ever, even when I was younger and in my like teenage years, I don't think I've ever really fully been me until I hit my forties. You know, I, I'm loving being in my forties too. I think that, I mean, we, you and I were, were already starting a while back. It's just so neat to see that even at this stage of Girl, our I, lives, how much we love 40. our life now. 40. Oh. I was 40 when we did my rebirth and I'm You're 45. Kidding. No. See, and I wanted to ask you because like the last time I did my rebirth, that was around maybe like 19, 18 or 19 years old. Maybe it's a custom. That's why I keep remembering it that way. But I did mine and it got me prepared to open up my business, open up other businesses later on. I got to get married, own a house, went through my divorce happily for myself. It all went well. 
And then I called in my highest and best, most compatible partner. And I am very grateful and happy. And you went through something similar yourself, right? So that's what I'm saying. It's not everyone's going to be exactly like us, but we're sharing like how much has shifted in our health. Number one, her and I, we got our health restored in ways that it was a miracle. Yeah. And then secondly, we also had like a whole new life transition in our re- personal lives, our careers. Yep. Like everything just really went where we thought that what we had and we were complacent in, that that's all we needed. And then when we got to discover that we needed to leave certain things and people and pe- behaviors and just that the way we used to act, more. didn't serve us anymore. It, we outgrew it. And here we are today and I feel so much better. And I love seeing you and like, you were sharing with me like the wonderful like changes that you're making like right now. And I'm like, I remember even telling you and seeing the place that you're at now. <laughs> Years ago, we're like, I don't know. You're like, there's no way I'm gonna leave my position now. And I'm like, I don't know, but it keeps showing up. And Casey, can you also share, because you've been with me the longest, when I give uh, psychic messages that I don't know exactly all the time, every date when it's gonna happen. I just know that yeah, at some point it'll get there, right? It's just because kind of an that- uh, it's something I've seen or you've seen seen that this is what could happen if you choose to because of course it's a matter of making I have to make the choice to follow that path or not it's just a message that you've been given because I couldn't hear it and because I couldn't hear it you've been my my gauge basically mm-hmm. Like, mm-hmm. You, this is what can stop you this is what can keep you moving just make your choice which right. way do you go this is where I see you could go to and that's just like the tip of the iceberg. Like there's so much more, like this is just what I can see right now. Let's see what, follow this path and let's see what happens it's next. the little breadcrumbs, right? It's like at that moment seeing like, okay, these are what divine is showing me that are your options. And I always would tell Casey or those that have come to me, I'm like, you have choices. Remember that if you lean in into that particular path, that it can lead you there. Now you also have the right of free will to say, no, I do not. I don't want to do that. And then you can go another way. And yeah. sometimes we've also seen the universe still gets you there <laughs> to the destination. I chose a different way and then I got thrown back in. And they're like, nope, sorry, you're not meant to not do this. <laughs> so Jess keeps telling me that I'm meant to work with her basically in some ways. I've worked with her in the past. We have past lives together, which I truly yeah. and honestly, that's why we were so close, like immediately. Very first but moment. I, in this world, it's so hard to commit to it, to say, yes, okay, sure, I can do that. Not, I'm a teacher, I'm a mother, I got a family, like, no, right. like, I don't want that part. Yeah. The universe doesn't let me say no, like, it keeps doing <laughs> it. So, you keep getting these messages, you just have to be aware of them. And I'm telling you, numerology was my number one keyword. And I was like, oh, yeah, they're actually coming at me. I'm seeing numbers. I went to the gas pump once, never ever have I ever, Ga- pumped gas and I remember sending it to you my total was one 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 like what the hell <laughs> okay fine I got you I see you it's there <laughs> like okay yes I understand I'm listening oh. for years in my classroom for some reason every single time I looked at the clock it was always 11 11 like always and then come to find out the same year that that was happening to me the man that I'm with now obviously so I went through the divorce like my rebirth let me figure out that my marriage is what was coming. It wasn't him per se, but it was the marriage. We were compatible that way. It was meant to be so we can get our boys. It was meant to be. I don't regret my marriage in one way or the other, Agreed. but it wasn't meant to continue. Um, the rebirth allowed me to see that. Like it wasn't the best for my health. It wasn't where I needed to be. So I made changes. And that whole year that I was going through those changes, 11-11 was in my face. Like every mm. single time I looked at the clock, it was 11-11. Middle of the night, it was waking me up. Literally, 11-11 was in my classroom every single day. Well, come to find out, the man that I have ended up with that same year had students who he would be like, it's 11-11, and they took a picture. 50 pictures total. Day after day, they took a picture. It was like a, a selfie with the clock behind them where it said 11-11 and it was these two students and him every single day. And this ended up being the man that I am with now. He <laughs> the 11-11 in his classroom at the same time period that I was seeing it. And I was like, wait, wait, what? And I just found this out like a month ago. I was like, wait, <laughs> seriously? He's like, yeah, and now how long have you guys been, like, you guys been together like, now? I'm not even letting him know that, hey, that was the same time period I was seeing 11-11. Just That's saying. So rad. But so it was cool. like, okay, cool. 
<laughs> how long have you two been dating now? Because uh, we he we showed had, up in your timeline like, before everything before was coming out. So literally, I had my rebirth in October, five years ago. It'll be four years in October that we have been together. Woo! Literally a year later, I my divorce was final in October, and him and I started. I think we started more in November, but we Isn't started that amazing. One door closes, the other one opens. When you literally align yourself and you say to the universe, I am ready to take on a new version of me. I'm ready to receive the blessings that have been stored and waiting for me. And I I'm was tired not looking of to being find afraid. Person, especially that quick. Like I was not looking. I, I did this work for my, at all. No, I did this so that I could be a better mom. I felt like all I did with my kids was yell. I yelled, I yelled, I yelled. I was always yelling because I had no patience left. I had, even as a teacher, all I did was yell. And I hated that in me because right. that's all I had left. Like I was mm. done. I had nothing left to give except for, okay, I can't handle you guys. Okay, I'm just done. And, so and at any time that that happens really is that when we feel the need to be louder is because it's the real need to be heard. And like once you've made certain shifts within yourself and you start listening to you, it's like everything else started to fall into its perfect path so that way you can be heard, you could be understood. And now you don't seem to have those issues. I, I, I remember when it was difficulty in communication, now your communication is on point. And, and yes, there's more that you want to learn and grow into, but who doesn't? Uh, just seeing the new, new version of you is just awesome. I love the woman I've met. I love the woman that I've met in other timelines, but I am so proud of you. I celebrate you all the time. I think about those who are truly dedicated. That's why I tell you, Casey, you know I've said it, because of your commitment to you, not to me, the dedication to your own life, the work that you put in, the commitment, the time, whatever you had to make the shifts in that the divine was saying, transition this way, Casey, it'll support you. You made those choices. It was your dedication and commitment. You invested into you, which is why everything you've got came back 10 times fold, wouldn't you say? <laughs> yeah, for sure. For me too. Definitely changed. You know, I, I appreciate you. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your beautiful day. Go and do the awesome stuff that you're doing with your honey. Have a fantastic day, Casey. <laughs> We're so loved. We appreciate you. Thank you for sharing because those that are ready, they need to really get an idea of what it's like. And I'm so grateful for your testimony. Love I'm you, so sister. Experience. Like I, it changed everything and I'm so grateful for it. I am so happy too. And I'm going to do mine again this year because I need an extra one. <laughs> for what Right? Well, it's, it's been 21 years. years, huh? Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's about it. time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm ready, Definitely. sister. I'm going to be doing the whole video where you guys get to see mine. Uh, I'll vlog my little journey. But thank you so much for sharing, Casey. I wish you a beautiful day. Thank you everyone for watching. Wishing everyone love, insight, and healing. Take care. Bye. Love ya. Bye. Bye, sweetie.